Hi everybody, this is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy. Welcome to lesson number seven. Let's set up the table. You'll need your top 160 sight word list and the sight word study method instruction sheet, plus the card pack on which the student's currently working, some blank cards, a highlighter and some markers, and some pencils for the student. For the short vowel drill, you'll need the teacher instruction sheet and the keyword pictures plus the keyword sentence. For the phonemic awareness drill, you'll need the instruction sheet and whatever tiles you're using. For the visual drill and auditory drill, you are going to have a card pack. And once the sounds are mastered, you will take them out of the card pack, then the blending drill. You'll have the paper letter tiles all set up in advance so you can move them one by one. For the magnetic letter tile spelling drill and reading drill, this is where you use the cookie sheet on which there are magnetic letter tiles spread in a rainbow shape. The syllable pounding sheet will be on the table, but you're not going to use it yet. The phoneme graphing kinesthetic discovery we will use today. And then you'll have the sheets that accompany the lesson plan, and you'll have those out. In addition, there's one page that's in the lesson plan page, uh, sheets that you'll have to cut out in advance because it's a card sort. Let's begin with the sight word study method. So take out your card pack, and I want you to read each word in the pack. Then you'll give the cards to your teacher, and your teacher will read the words and you will spell them. So you'll need a pencil on hand and some lined paper. When you're finished, think about, are any of these words mastered? Meaning, would you get them right nine times out of 10? If that's true, you can take the word out of your pack. That'll leave some space so you can add a new word. If there's time permitting, you can do that by following the steps in the sight word study method instruction sheet. It's time for the short vowel drill. So you're going to take two fingers and apple, ah, apple, ah. Give me five and then you go on to your next sheet. Eddie, eh. Do that now, and then you're going to say your keyword sentence, being sure to stretch out every vowel sound in that sentence. Now let's do a quick check. What sound does that one make? How about that one? And this one? And that one? How about that one? Okay, let's move on. Let's do the phonemic awareness drill. You'll need your colored tiles for this one. So take them out now. And I will tell you, your first sound is D. Take out a colored tile and call it D. Okay, you got one down. The next one is AW. Place a tile for AW. And the last sound is T. Now what do you have? Tap each sound and say it. Did you get dot? If you did, good job. Now find the aw in dot. You can just tap until you get to aw. When you have it, I would like you to change the aw in dot to i. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. So if that was dit, find the i in dit and change it to an a. Ah. What's the new word? It'll be a nonsense word. Tap it and say it. Did you get dat? Okay, now find the d in dat. Change it to a g. What's your new word? Remember that not all these are real words. Tap it and say it. Did you get gat? If you did, good job. Now find the a ah in gat and change the a ah to an e. Eh. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get get? Good job. Now find the g in get and change it to a er. What's the new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get ret? Not a real word, but part of part of part of a real word like retina. Find the e 
in ret and change it to an ah. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get rat? If you did, good job. You can put your tiles away. Let's do the visual drill. I'm going to show you a card and I'd like you to name the symbol and then tell me the sound it makes. What's this one? Did you say qu? So it's the k sound and the w of the w sound. Qu. How about this one? Did you say r, er? If you did, great job. This is not r, it is er. How about this one? Did you say you, uh? If you did, good job. How about this one? This is a V. V. What about this one? Did you say W? W? Now I know you want to say W, but that we want to avoid that U uh sound if we can. So I do this. I don't drop my jaw when I say the sound. I just say W. <laughs> And that's how I do it. How about this one? Did you say B, B? And remember, we're not going to say B. We're not going to drop the jaw when we do it. We're just going to say B. If you did, good job. How about this one? Did you say F? That's a motor off one, isn't it? Good job. For the auditory drill, I'm going to say a sound and I want you to repeat the sound. Here it is. D. Now you say it. Okay. What symbol goes with D? Write that on your page, then underline it and say the sound again. Did you say D as in D? And if you're not sure about which way to write the D, you then yeah, that's why you have your, your bed. When I go to bed, you can figure it out. The next sound is K. Can you repeat that sound? Now, I can think of more than one symbol to go with this sound. I can think of two. Can you think of two? Write down as many as you know. Underline it and say the sound at the end. Did you say C can say K? And you could also say K can say K. So that one had two answers. How about F? Say that sound. F. What symbol goes with that sound? Write it down, then underline it and say the sound again. Did you say F makes F? If you did, good job. Time for the blending drill. Your teacher has your little paper letter cards all lined up on the table for you. And you're going to tap each one and say the sounds that it makes and then underline it and say the whole word. And then your teacher will remove one of the paper tiles to reveal the next word. We've been talking about this idea of syllable. What is a syllable? And we've got a hand gesture that helps us to remember. We say a syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel pattern. Can you say that with me? Let's do it. One, two, three. A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel pattern. Let's try it one more time. One, two, ready, here we go. A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel pattern. So the really big thing there is does it have a vowel in it? Is this one a syllable? And tell your teacher why it either is a syllable or isn't a syllable. Okay, how about this one? Is it a syllable? Explain your thinking to your teacher. Is this one a syllable? You don't have to read it. You can just look and say, is it a syllable or not? Okay, well, there are seven types of syllables. 
and we are working on one called the closed syllable. We start there because it is the largest syllable type. Close to 50% of English words are closed syllables, so it makes a lot of sense to start there. And this is an example of a closed syllable. We have a, m, hem. In the closed syllable type, the vowels say those keyword picture sounds. A, e, i, a, a. In the other syllable types, they're often going to say the long sound. They'll say their name, a, e, i, o, u, or they'll make a different sound. So in this one, in the closed syllable, you can always count on it. It's the only syllable type where it says apple, eddy, itchy, olive, up sounds. You know it's a closed syllable because it's closed in. It's not open to the outside. The babysitters come in to protect it and it says, hello, I'm here. You can just say your nice soft sound because happy M babysitter is here. And he says, eh, in hem. If the babysitter goes away, we no longer have a closed syllable. The E is not happy. Where'd my babysitter go? And it starts calling for his mummy. E is over here. Mummy, mummy, no one's with me. E. And it says, E, he. The babysitter comes back. Oh, everything's okay. The E can say a soft sound. So what's the word? Tap it, say it. And what happens when I take the babysitter away? I no longer have a closed syllable. So the E will no longer say eh. That's its happy sound. It won't say that. It'll say E. So that word is he. Good job. We're going to do a little syllable card sort here. And I would like you to tell me, is it a closed syllable or not? And you don't have to read these words. Some of these words are going to be syllable types that you've never encountered before. So I don't want you to read the words. I just want you to look at the cards and tell me, is it a closed syllable or no? Yes or no? So I would just take this one and I would say, okay, is there one vowel in this word followed by one or more babysitters? Uh-oh, that word has two vowels, so it can't be a closed syllable. A closed syllable has one vowel followed by one or more babysitters. Okay, how about this one? Is that one a closed syllable? Does it have one vowel followed by one or more babysitters? Yes, it does. So you could tap that one out and read it if you want. G -a -t got. Okay, let's do the rest of the sort now. And you don't have to read them, you can just complete just sort them by, by saying, is there one vowel followed by one or more consonants? We've been learning a lot about vowels and we've been talking about the short sounds that the vowels can make. A, E, I, A, and A. Uh. We've also been talking about the letter Y and how sometimes it acts like a vowel and sometimes it does not. We have a little song that helps us to remember where in the word the vowel is acting as a consonant or as a vowel. If Y is at the start of a word, it's a consonant. It says Y. Can you say that? But if Y is in the middle of a word, here's a word you've probably seen before, Jim, it's acting as a vowel. If Y was at the end of a word, it would be acting as a vowel. So the only place that it can be a consonant is at the front of a word. Anywhere else it's going to act as a vowel and make a vowel sound. So when it's a consonant, it makes a sound y. Can you repeat that sound? Let's do the little song that we use to remember that. We say, A, E, I, O, U are vowels that I know you've heard. But Y is only a vowel when it's not at the start of a word. Okay, let's do it together. Ready? We're going to touch each one and say that. One, two, ready? Here we go. A, E, I, O, U are vowels that I know you've heard. But Y is only a vowel when it's not at the start of a word. And there you go. Okay, good review. We are going to 
look at a sound today. We like to focus on different sounds, make them the superstars of the lesson. And I'm going to read you a list of words. And you're going to hear one sound that comes up in every single word. I'm wondering if you can figure out what sound it is. I will give you one clue. It is a consonant. Yet. Yen. Yud. Yug. Yep. Yap. Yip. Yum. What sound happened in every single word? Tell your teacher if you think you know. Did you guess y? You're right. And we know that y is acting as a consonant when it makes that sound. Look at your list right now of all those words I just read. And what I'd like you to do is take your favorite color or whatever pencil you have on hand and circle the letter Y in each of the words. Don't read the words. You don't have to do that. I'm just asking you to circle the letters, just the letter Y. Do that now and then come back to me. Now let's think about what's happening when we make the sound Y. So put your hands on your throat. Do you remember the four things that are at work when, when we make a sound? We could have our lips involved, our teeth, our tongue, our vocal cords can vibrate. So that's a lot going on. What's happening when we say y? Say it. Y. Okay. Let's compare it. Can you say p as in pet? P. And now let's say y again. Y. Okay, well, is it a motor on or a motor off when we say y? That's a motor on. How about when we say p? P, as in pet. That's just a pop of air. There's no vocal cords moving there. P. What's your mouth doing when you say p? Does it start open or closed? P. It starts closed. What happens when we say y? Yeah. Oh, look, my mouth is open for that one. Yeah. Yeah. So my mouth is open. My vocal cords are vibrating. Where's the tongue? Yeah. Yeah. My tongue's on the bottom. Yeah. My teeth are open. Now, how about when I say p? p? Everything is closed and it opens up my mouth. P. Let's try z as in zipper and see the difference there. Z and now we'll say yeah, yeah, z yeah. When I say z, my teeth are closer to being closed. Z and then yeah. Both of them are are really big motor ons, aren't they? I think z is the big big motor on one. Z and then yeah, yeah. Okay, so what have we learned about yeah? We know that our mouth is open, our tongue is down on our bottom teeth, like in, on the bottom part of our mouth, and our vocal cords are vibrating. Good job. Let's make a card to remind us about the sound of y. So here's my card for y. I'm going to have the small, the small y in the middle, and then I'll just quickly make a capital Y and I'll put it in the corner. So my card ends up looking like that. And then on the back, I'm going to divide it so that it's divided into four because there are four sounds that Y makes, but we're only going to talk about Y as a consonant while we're working on the, you know, probably for 50 lessons while we're working on the closed syllable. So I'm going to make my keyword yellow, knowing that Y is a consonant because it's in the front of the word. And you can think of a word that starts with Y or use yellow if you want, and your teacher will tell you how to spell the word. And then you can make a little picture. For me, it was easy because I just put my highlighter on there, yellow. It's time for the magnetic letter tile drill. So take out your tiles. And I'm going to ask you, can you say the sound y? Now find the correct tile that goes with y and pull it to the middle. Now, can you say the sound e? Eh? Okay, find the tile that goes with e eh and pull it to the middle. Your last sound is t. 
Can you say that sound? Find the tile that goes with t and pull it to the middle. Now I want you to tap each sound and say it, and then say the whole word. Do that now. Did you get yet? If you did, great job. Okay, put your tiles back. And your next word, okay. Your sound, your first sound of the next word is y. Can you repeat that sound? Okay, find the tile that goes with y and bring it to the middle. Your next sound is uh. Can you repeat that sound? Find the tile that goes with uh and pull it to the middle. Your last sound is mmm. Can you say that sound? Find the tile for mmm and pull it to the middle. Now tap each sound as you say each sound and then blend the whole word together. Did you get yum? If you did, great job. Now, teacher, you're keeping an eye on the time. And if you have time, you can do another word from the list provided in the lesson plan. And if not, move on with me now. Here's your single word sheet. You can read all the words on the sheet. And some of them are going to be real words. And some of them are going to be nonsense words. It's time for you to read your story. A pup can yep. And after you read the story, your teacher will let you see the picture. And you guys can talk about what the story meant. Let's move on to the writing section of the lesson. You'll need your magnetic letter tile drill for this one. And I'm going to tell you that your word is yet. Can you repeat that word? Now use the word yet in a sentence. What could I say? I have not had a cookie yet, but maybe I will have one later. Okay, now what's the first sound that you hear in yet? Find the tile that matches that sound and bring it to the middle. What's the second sound that you hear in yet? Find the right tile and bring it to the middle. And what's the last sound that you hear in yet? Find the correct tile and bring it to the middle. And then you can tap each one and say the whole word. Okay, good job. Now put those tiles away and we'll move on to our next word. Let's see. Your next word is yip. Can you repeat that word? Yip. Can you use the word yip in a sentence? I would say the dog can yip. Probably other animals can yip too. Okay, now what's the first sound that you hear in yip? Find the correct tile and bring it to the middle. What's the second sound that you hear in yip? Find the correct tile and bring it to the middle. And what's the last sound that you hear in yip? Find the correct tile and bring it to the middle. Now I want you to tap each one, say each sound, and then say the whole word. Yep. Good job. Now, teacher, you've got your eye on the time, so you'll know if you can have time to do an extra word from your teacher list there, or if you'll move on with me. We're going to move into finger tapping and tracing. Let's try tapping first. So if I said, I would like you to tap out the word yum. Let's do it together. So y, what's the next sound you hear? Uh, mm. And then grab the word and pull it across left to right, yum. Okay. Now I want you to tap the next word. Your word is yip. So tap out the sounds in yip. And then grab the whole word, pull it to the, to the side and say the whole word. Okay, here's a new one. For this one, you can trace, and I'll trace on my hand, um, but you could use your arm, your leg, whatever you want, and as you trace, you'll say each sound. Your word is 
mob, as in a big crowd of people is sometimes called a mob. So what sounds do you hear in mob? Okay, and then grab the whole word and say it. And now I want you to write down that word, mob. So get your pencil and your paper and write that one down. Okay, your next word is yap. You can finger tap it or you could trace it. And then I want you to write the word on your paper. Do that now. Okay, and then we're on to sentences. So I've got two sentences for you. I'll say the sentence, and then I want you to repeat the sentence, and then write it down on your lined paper. Are you ready? Here it is. The bun is not yet hot. Can you say that? The bun is not yet hot. Okay, write that down now. When you're finished, use chops to check your work. Okay, here's your last sentence. A pup can yip. Say that with me. A pup can yip. Now you write it down, and then your teacher will help you use chops to check your work. Okay, before you go, let's do a quick review. What is a syllable? Are you ready? A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel pattern. Now you try and say it to your teacher. Okay. And then what's a closed syllable? So teacher, can you put a closed syllable in front of the student? Maybe with their magnetic letter tiles. And then the student can explain to you what it means to be a closed syllable. And last of all, we talked about this letter Y. What sound does Y make when it's being a consonant? Y. Okay, great job, you did it. That's the end of lesson seven. This is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy. See you next time.